Jada Pinkett is telling all in her new book, including how she felt helpless. And so she turned to supernatural forces, including voodoo, to try and fix her life, Media Takeout has learned. Jada explained that despite having a rich, handsome, and loving husband, and having happy, smart, and healthy children, she felt that she wanted more out of life. So after searching for meaning elsewhere, Jada turned to the supernatural for assistance. In one part of the excerpt, Jada admits to traveling to Ojai, California, in search of a medicine woman to help bring balance to her life and her family. Ojai sits on the traditional territory of the Chumash, a Native American people who inhabited the central and southern coastal regions of California, in portions of what are Morro Bay in the north to Malibu in the south and the Channel Islands. The place is believed to have supernatural powers, and there are a series of medicine women who live there and offer to use their supernatural powers to help people in need. Jada explaining how she visited the spiritual woman after a brief phone conversation. I've pulled off the curving mountain road onto what turns out to be the top of a steep driveway leading down to the house of the medicine woman, whom I just met on the phone only a couple of weeks earlier. But that's not the only form of magic that Jada used to help get her life and family in order. Jada also admits to traveling all the way to Cuba and visited a padrino for help. Jada explained, I even went to Cuba and met with a padrino that was intense. A padrino is a spiritual godfather in the religion of Santeria. Santeria is an offshoot of voodoo, which originated in West Africa and was brought to the Caribbean region by slaves. Here's a description of what a padron is in Santeria and the importance. A person who has been through the initiation process and completed all the required rituals is called an oloricha, more commonly known as a santero, male, or Santera, female. Only Olorichas can become godparents to another person. Once Olorichas initiate or crown another person, they become Babalorichas, male, and Ayalorichas, female. The Balaricha means father of the Oriches, and Ayalaricha means mother of the Oriches. This honorific title reflects the belief that the godfather or godmother is giving birth to the Oriches during the initiation ceremony and the new godchild will inherit those oriches from the godparent. Afterward, the godchild belongs to the religious family of the godparent, and the godparent and godchild have a permanent commitment to each other, based on a strong code of ethics that requires appropriate moral behavior on both sides. For example, the godchild is expected to include his godparent in prayers, calling them Babatobi May, my father who birthed me in Oka, or Ayatobi May, my mother who birthed me in Ota. He's also expected to remember his madrina's or padrino's birthday in Oka, the anniversary of the godparent's initiation. He should pay his respects in person if possible, and present his godparent with a gift of some kind to honor the godparent's oriches. 